Hello and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vector pencil in Adobe Illustrator CS4. The first thing you want to do is open up a new artboard. I'm just going to name mine pencils. It does not matter how big it is. Next, the first thing you want to do once you open up your new artboard is you want to go to View, Show Grid. Then you want to go to view, snap to grid. Once you have that, you want your rectangle tool. And you want to drag out a rectangle with an even height. So I'm doing six. It does not matter how wide it is. I'm just going to make mine a dark gray rectangle for now no line and the reason I'm doing this is so we can distinguish the different parts I'm going to change that light gray to a dark gray right after I drag out the little metal eraser cap I like it to and with but that's my personal preference I just think it looks best Whoops. After we've done that, we want our rounded rectangle tool. I prefer four and four in width, and I and you can change the roundness of the rounded rectangle's corners using the up and down arrows as you drag it out. Make it dark gray. I'm going to go arrange send to back there next we just need to do our wood part as I like to call it so we need to go to our pen tool and we need to click four points one here one here one six away and another two away like so. Let's select that. We're going to go to Object Expand. I just did twice to make sure. Now we need our pen tool again. Change it back to your darker gray and make three points like so bring that down here go to object expand again so now that we have the base of the pencil we need to color it so you color every part except for this little metal part which will is a different thing so I'm just gonna bring my barrel into isolation mode and I'm going to go to my gradient tool. So I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to do blue. When you're choosing colors, you do not want to make it drastically different. So swatches has a good selection. Like, you don't want the colors to be too um, different from each other like you don't want navy blue and powder blue and we want to change the angle to a negative 90 degrees like so let's get out of isolation mode I'm gonna color the rest of them and I'll see you then okay so now that we've got all of our um, parts of the pencil covered except for our little metal cap part I'm going to show you how to color that so it looks like metal so we're going to go to our gradient tool after bring it into isolation mode and we're going to add two stops one here and one here our first stop we need to go into web RGB for all of them 
our first stop is F2, F2, F2. Our second stop, make sure you go into web RGB every time, is B2, B2, B2. Our third stop is E6, E6, E6. And our last stop is B2, B2, B2. Make sure your angle is at negative 90 degrees. Whoops. And we only have one last finishing touch to do. While taking your brush tool, open up a new layer. And we're just going to drag out one straight line. We're going to make it about three points, and the line will be white. Now go to your layers, or maybe not. Turn the opacity down to Yeah, about 70% is good. All you have to do is group them all together. And there you go. That's your vector pencil. Um, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And bye.